Hi, in this video we're going to talk about multidimensional arrays in TypeScript. Let's create a multidimensional array. For example, first we can create a variable, let's call it matrix, and that matrix will contain numbers. matrix is going to be multi-dimensional array which will contain numbers and we can populate our matrix multi-dimensional array for example by using push function and inside it we're going to put few arrays of arrays for example first array will contain numbers one two three then we're going to put two more arrays in our multi-dimensional array okay now we have a multi-dimensional array ma matrix format 3 by 3 which contains these numbers then we can print an element from our matrix to our web page for example let's say document dot right line we're going to use an element of our matrix for example first element of second array so our second array is going to have index 1 because this first array is going to have index 0 second is going to have index 1 and the third is going to have index 2 so we want to get an element from our second array so we're going to use number one as an index and we want to use for example i don't know let's say the third element from here so we're going to use number two from index because same way first element in this array has index zero second has index one and third has index two Okay. and if we want to print that element we need to convert it to a string because this element is going to be number but if we want to print it we need to provide a string then I'm going to compile this example to JavaScript by using TSC command in command prompt and using the name of our TypeScript file and now I'm going to use that compiled JavaScript file inside our HTML page okay let's open our index.html file and let's run it the number at this position inside our matrix okay on the other way we can declare our multi-dimensional array matrix without using push function we can populate our multi-dimensional array by putting values directly inside it for example let's define again our array matrix and inside square brackets we're gonna put the values of our arrays and that's the same way on which we can declare our multi
multi-dimensional array. So these two ways of making matrix multi-dimensional array are almost equal. And finally, we can define multi-dimensional array of strings or of any other type of any other object. I will make an array of strings by changing this number values to strings and then I don't need to put here method to, to string because this element is going to be string and we can easily write it on our web page. That's all in this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like my video and to check out for other videos on my channel. See you in the next video.